So here we are you guys, welcome to the Shemmies. We're doing side pork today. And I'll tell you what, this sucker's been marinating for about five, six hours in brown sugar, kosher salt, and black pepper. Just plain and simple like that. And now I'm gonna jam it into here you guys. We're gonna smoke it and cook it for about two and a half to three hours at about 180 Celsius. The last 20 minutes we're gonna ramp up and crisp up. As you can see right there, I'm gonna show you. John, just hang on. Let me get this guy out here guys just to show you. So here we are. Now what you gotta do, what you gotta do is you gotta score the top of that, as you can see. Just have a look. Now that's gonna crisp that up and that's allowed the flavor to get into the meat and soak in there really nice. You just take a nice sharp knife. I use one of them throwaway knives, you know, them ones with the change blades or whatever, they're like exactos, and that just cuts that skin just beautifully. Beautiful. <laughs> and uh, and away we go. I might have went a little bit too deep, but that's okay. We're you know it's gonna all be flavor and, and all that good stuff. Now we're just about to our temp here, you guys. As you can see, John, I got the little extra backup thermometer in there. And we got the good stuff going on here. We got a little piece of rubber axle grease in there. We're just gonna set that guy in there just like that. Oh, listen to that. Just have a look, you guys. We're gonna just low and slow that, and it's gonna be fantastic. As you can see, just oh, all that flavor in there. Now when you cook that, you guys, you're gonna cook that away there, do your thing. And what I like to do with it is you get a nice a hot dog bun or some bread, whatever, a nice bun, garlic toast if you got it, and uh, that's all crispy and nice and lots of salt on top. We're gonna re-salt that again, just to give it that nice crispy salty flavor. And you put that in a bun with a little coleslaw or mustard, some grainy mustard, stuff like that, a little shot of mayo, whatever you're gonna do with it, it's just fantastic. Or you can take it, lay it on a baked potato or something like that and just get at it. It's so good. It's such a fatty piece of meat that it cannot not be good. So we're going to let this do its thing, you guys. I'm going to put some pasta on for the kids. And uh, you're going to have to definitely come on back and have a look and stay tuned. I'm going to go wash up here. Unless you want a back massage, Johnny, with a little brown sugar on it. I can wait a few minutes. Right on. Okay, I love you guys. We'll see you guys here shortly. We'll uh, do a little update here and see you see soon. Yikes. I don't even know if it gets any better. That is fantastic, you guys. It was about three hours. We got the crackling there, pretty cracked up, and it's just beautiful, just uh, crunchy, sweet. Got the brown sugar, we got some salt in there, as you can see. I stuck a little piece off there, as you can, uh, right here, as you can tell. And that there is our pork belly, and I'll tell you what, is it ever good. I can't wait to get into this, as you can see, the meat. Look at that, just beautiful. Oh, we're gonna cut into that, get that on a bun, look out, you guys. You're hanging with the chamois, I'll tell you what. Thanks for tuning in today. That's our pork belly right there. And uh, maybe I should just sample a little piece of that just to show you guys how good it is. Flino's looking too. And uh, I'll just do a little cut there. Oh, you guys, I don't even know. Look at that. Oh, wow, that is fantastic, you guys. Oh, so good. You guys, thanks for hanging with the chamois. Pork belly sangies, here we go. Thanks again, you guys. See you next time.